Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you are doing just fantastic today. So I've been I've been doing some thinking here, right? Terrifying, I know, but hear hear me out, right? Just just listen to me here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do a normal training with Chloe. I accidentally pressed B um, as soon as I pressed A. My 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 finger slipped. This should be a picture. Hey, Chloe, match. I'm putting a lot into you I'm here, Amber, so that you hopefully pay off. Um, and you haven't really been paying off yet. So, what I'm what I'm gonna do is we're gonna see how this level up of yours goes, right? And if it's not good, we're we're abandoning the ship and we're moving match. on. So here it is. You should, yeah, yeah. I was about to say you should be like guaranteed to level up here. Is this any? Oh, that's pretty good. Getting the strength is very good on her. Ah, oh, that makes this hard. Cause I was gonna say I was prepared for this level up of hers to be terrible. And I was like, I think I might be better off dumping the experience into like a mage unit that I want to use. Um, be it Saline or Citrine, and I hadn't fully decided which one yet I wanted to pick. I was kind of leaning more towards Saline. I just like her durability more. I think her stats are overall much better, much more well-rounded. Um, but Citrine does hit harder. So I don't know. But man, that was like, if she keeps getting levels like that, that's going to be real good. I, mm, I should probably just actually give them to Saline. Yeah. Again, I don't really need another physical striker. I've already got Alir, Louis, Yunaka, and Diamant who serve these purposes. I should probably focus on getting a mage. So let's 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 you know what? I've decided to commit to Saline. I am Saline, Princess I'm, of I'm calling it here right now. I'm Citrine, a royal soldier. Oh well, here we go. Who wins this? Fight for your spot on the army. Oh my God, she hits some. She has an L surge tone. Actually, that's not fair. All right, this is not a fair fight. L Surge is a much better tone than just fire, so I don't think that's a very good showing. Um, I should probably also like engrave some tomes for them or something, or just get some better tomes in general. I could upgrade one, maybe. I could get like Shall an L Fire. Of tea afterward? I'm not sure if that's super worth it right now. Boucheron. All right, well, if you lose this, then like, what are you even doing? <gasps> yeah, I was about to say, if you lose to Boucheron, you got to get out of here, Saline. <laughs> The more experienced warrior won out. <laughs> what a joy this has been. Poor Boucheron. He's trying his best. Um, okay. And also on top of that, what we can already go ahead and do is we can now also train Saline up to five with Sigurd and get her canter as well. I think having canter on quite literally every unit I intend to use is a worthwhile I investment. She has of enough uh, SP for it, so Sigurd. might as well. Prepare yourself. Plus, with her low movement, it'll help her kind of like play catch up, right? You dare? You dare? I mean, you're you're not gonna beat him. You Goodbye. Cut me down most effectively. Who would have thought? Sigurd, pretty good. He's a he's a pretty strong opponent. But again, it doesn't matter. Oh, what do they say though? It is an honor to speak to you, Emblem Sigurd. <laughs> Might I invite you to tea? That would be a delight. I'm no longer able to drink the tea. Still, your stories would enchant. <laughs> Sigurd picks up the cup, holds it to his mouth, and it just falls onto the seat in front of him. Straight like Pirates of the Caribbean style. That would be hilarious. All right, so now we can go ahead and give... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I want to go to Inherit Skills uh, for Saline, And you are going to... Uh, not Celica, Sigurd. For Cantor, you better believe it. <laughs> We're getting Cantor, baby. Oh, what a good skill. Oh, I forgot. I need to be in this menu to equip it. There we go. Is there anyone else that I can give Cantor to? I can't actually see their SP here, which is tragic. Um, huh. Giving Cantor to Jean is an idea, but I'm kind of like, is Jean a staff bot at this point? I don't really know. I think if I put Jean in a class that can actually throw hands, he'll be pretty good. So I'm not I'm not super certain on that one yet. Can Alcris get Cantor yet? No, he's close though. He might be able to here soon. Um Chloe's not near anything, yeah. What are you at, John? He does have enough for Cantor. He has so much SP, actually. Yeah, let's get John Cantor. I be I believe in John. He really proved himself against those mages that one time. Like, damn, what a what a guy. What are his stats looking right now? 
God, his resistance is out of control, but like everything else just seems so like middling. Especially for someone who's level seven fucking teen. Like, I suppose he is better than Saline. Like quite literally, he just is better than her in, at pretty much everything. He technically has more overall stats than Louis, but they're so spread out, right? Like what is Jean gonna do with strength? You know what I mean? Technically, yeah, right now he can punch people for strength, but I don't think reclassing him into a strength class is the play. Not at this point, at least if I wanted to do that, I had to start early. Uh, uh I don't know. I mean, like, compared to, uh, comparing people to Yunaka is not fair. She is insanely powerful. Just 21 strength. Yunaka is a fucking, she's a goddamn killer is what she is. It's got decent bulk too. Anyway, I, I talked too long about this. Um, I would like for you to get level five with, you guessed it, Sigurd. Hey, everyone's coming I'm, for Sigurd. Uh, Let's go. John, should I really be here? I am Sigurd. You think to duel me? Um, it not well. <laughs> it's him for one. No! Oh my God, John. It's been an honor. Poor Fine. child. He didn't stand a fucking chance. War is a cruel thing. Should one so young as you be exposed to its horrors? Young or old, it'll touch all our lives anyway. I can make a stand, so I will. Okay, that's a, that's a good mentality, Jean. Now we're talking. Anyway, now you can uh, move after attacking. You haven't attacked at all yet. I'm probably not going to equip Cancer on him yet. I don't think he really needs it. <laughs> Like, he doesn't really attack right now, but eventually he will, so it'll be good then. So go ahead and grab Cantor. Um, but don't equip it. You don't You don't need that right now. And I think I'm gonna probably call it there for skills for now. Getting Tiki. Oh my fucking god. Getting Anna Cantor as well would be nice. I keep calling her Tiki. I don't know. It's because she's also small. Maybe? I don't, I don't even know, man. My brain is broken. My brain is absolutely fucking broken. So hopefully uh, her and Alcris can get enough for it at the end of this next mission. Oh, also, um, I was looking at Krom's emblem ring, and um, which I'll, I'll show it here once we get out of this loading screen as well. And I, I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? I, I feel like it, I almost feel like I, I wanted to put it on Celine, but I was like, if I'm going to have Celine as my mage unit, I think Soren just does that better. It's, a, it's strange, right? Because here's the thing, right? So I'm gonna... I, I put it on Alchrist. Um, so it gives strength, dex, and speed. Which are great stats, by the way. Those are incredible stats to give, right? Those are the exact things that a striker wants, right? Um, the skill surprise attack is nice. I think that's really good. Um, albeit a bit situational. Other half is what got me, got me confused, right? So... Whenever you're engaged, Robin will do chain attacks, which that's that's just good. That works well for everyone. However, while you're engaged, you get plus 10 magic, which is ridiculous. That is an insane amount. Like, why do you get 10 additional magic? What the fuck? That is wild. So like, you know, if I give this to Celine right now, she's gonna get, she's gonna have 24 magic while engaged. Be an absolute monster. Um, the problem is, it only works while engaged, right? So I feel like I'm playing around just only being engaged, and I'm not super into that. Um, also, his ult, you, use, you attack with 11 sword, and it calculates based off of your physical damage. Um, so, like, it's weird, right? Because then if, if you put Krom on, like, a pure mage, if I put Krom on Citrine, the ult's not gonna do anything. Not gonna, you know, I mean, surprise attack is fine. The actual stats he gives are, are like, ideal, you know what I mean? So, I decided to just give it to Alchrist instead. Um, I don't know. I might I might swap this around, though. I just think Soren is so much better, right? Like, yeah, he doesn't give... Krom gives plus 10 magic while engaged. That is insanity. But Soren right now gives plus magic forever. That's That works every turn, right? And you got to think how many... How many turns is a map? The longer a map is, like... I think in theory, Krom kind of starts to, I don't know, it's weird because like, it, it depends on how much you're using them. Anyway, I I, I, I haven't fully decided on this yet. Um, and also as you level them up, these stats are going to increase, right? So eventually as your bond rank with sword increases, 
it will be like probably plus two magic and then plus three. And I, I don't know what the max is, right? I have no idea how it's calculated. Um, but Saline already kind of runs this like middle ground. So I feel like Krom's pretty good for her, but we're not really at the point yet where it matters. Um, I'd rather her just have the flat magic and like, I think, I think Soren's skills are better. Like Flare is incredible. Um, Bolting is a really good weapon to have. Like when is Saline ever going to swing with this Leaven Sword? Right? Like, yeah, it's good, but you know, it's whatever also. And like Giga Leaven Sword on her is kind of weird. I, I haven't I haven't fully made up my mind on that yet. Anyway, last thing we got to do is we got to we got to hey, have I'm ourselves so a nice meal. We got to have a nice meal uh, of disposed of Amber's meal. And now he's going to cook for me again. Um, we're going to eat with the boys as well. Big fan of having a nice meal with the boys. We'll have some nice potato pancakes. We don't need anything extra, though. Ingredients are, I are not look at not a excellent cook. Not quite in abundance. Just like prepping the alpaca's meals back home. Because uh, oh. all of our... Jesus, Amber. All of our time has gone this into... This uh, its own legend. That's right. I finished my daily training just before this. What have you been up to, Alcor? Save unique lines! Yes. I've been trying to fix the clasp that holds my bangs. If it doesn't work, I can't aim my bow. <laughs> Understandable. Yo! Take Thank you, Amber. That was incredible. My farm is all dogs, right? So they, they just give me upgrade materials. They don't give any cooking ingredients. Who would have thought? You don't get, you know, like beef from a dog. I'm not sure if you're aware or not. That was kind of fucking weird also. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, Sigurd and Louie. I've learned a great deal by observing you, Sigurd. I hope to become just as great a knight. Knights must fight on behalf of their people. Let us support each other to keep them safe. Oh, the Brave Lance now. That's a good one to have. All right. And now we just have our normal supports. Oh, A rank with Yunaka. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. What would you like to talk about today, Yunaka? This isn't easy for me, but I want you to know why I've had a hard time telling the truth. So I'm just going to lay it all out there, okay? The truth is, I... The truth is, I... I used to be... It's all right. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> but I... I can see how hard this is for you. It's obvious just looking at your face. I told you before that I won't pry. It really is as simple as that. You're really okay with me keeping a secret from you like this? Of course. I have secrets too, you know. D d does she? There's no need to make yourself uncomfortable. I don't I know that you do, Alir. You don't you remember anything. To tell me. Thank you. Sincerely, what I'm ready to say is that I'm Aww. truly grateful to have a friend like you in my life. That's sweet. I feel like I've finally found that place in the world I was looking for, you know? That's entirely thanks to you. And I won't forget it. I'm glad to fight for you and all our friends. I really appreciate that, Yunaka. I'll tell you all I can about my past. But I think the present is what matters. Us, here and now. We're just getting to know each other. There's so much more to say. It's like an adventure. An adventure. I like that. I look forward to continuing this journey with you, Yunaka. That was kind of sweet. All right. You know, that you don't got to talk about what you don't want to. Oh, now, now we're, now we're in here. All right. To find one, watch out. There's a wolf. Oh, thank you, Alchris. What? Uh, where? Why are we in Brodia now? Wolf, please go away. <laughs> Leave the Divine Dragon alone, I beg you. <sighs> it isn't listening to me. It's a fucking wolf. No choice. I'll have to get serious. Shoot him down. That pose. <clears throat> Is he about to... bow an apology like the incident at the border? Mr. Wolf, <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I'm sure that my apologies will enrage you further to the point you might devour me. And if I wind up in your stomach, my allies may waste days looking for me. But I must persist. Please, though I have no right to make this request, I ask you to go home. I'm begging you. The wolf is actually <laughs> turning away. He's like, oh my god, look at that loser. What is happening there here? Bro, I Thank can't be seen eating right these guys. <laughs> Thank you, Alchrist. I'm glad you're okay too. That was a risky move. That's why I love Alchrist. Think nothing of it. Your life is worth far more than mine. 
So I just did what needed to be done. You know, my first but thought no. wouldn't have been this, but you know. My life, your life, everyone's lives. None of us are above anyone else. Uh, you're right, Divine One. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like I've fallen short yet again. The Divine Dragon's radiance should lighten my mood, but I've managed to darken it instead. You just apologized to Wolf apologize. away! I, I should leave. That's, a, that's an incredible power. How do you do what? this? Like... All Chris, they don't speak. Wait. Wow, he's so fast. <laughs> there he goes. He's out of here. I love all Chris. I really do. I don't even. I can't even verbalize why. Just he's, he's so fucking goofy. <laughs> well, I think the spring is lovely, and doesn't that cool water feel nice? Yeah, I guess. But this isn't the fountain of youth. <laughs> That's all right. Yes, this is a normal spring, but you're still so young. You don't need the fountain of youth. But I will need That's it when I'm older. Point. We came here on a quest to find a legendary fountain. I can't believe this stupid map was a fake the whole time. Oh, I'm such a sucker. Aw, don't feel down, Amber. I also can't believe you're so chipper about this, Chloe. Even if it's not the fountain of youth, I'm happy enough to visit such a beautiful spring. It's so lovely that it might have inspired the tales of the Fountain of Youth to begin with. Mm, I guess it is a beautiful little spring. Right? So don't be sad. Besides, I packed some food we can eat while we take in the scenery. You want some fish guts? You did? Oh, yeah. Good move, Chloe. You always think ahead. Pretty scenery, a tasty lunch. This is turning out more like a weekend picnic or something. Woo! Weekend picnic! <laughs> Wait a second. What a weirdo. <laughs> You planned this oh. all along, didn't you? You knew this quest would be a dud. Oh, he's figured it out. <laughs> Does it matter? Nah, I'm too hungry to stay mad now. <laughs> Bring on the grub. Here you go. One plate of dried fish eyeballs, just for now you. Now we're talking. Uh, one of your funky folk food lunches? Now this quest is definitely a dud. This is actually Chloe's master plan all along. She kidnapped you, Amber, and is forcing you to eat these horrible, awful foods because you will starve before you get back to any other source of civilization. <laughs> How devious. She's like, ah, this shit is fucked up. This, this damn fountain of youth ain't real, but I can dupe this loser. Sorry, I also just realized as I as I glanced at my map there um, that uh, there was something I hadn't picked up. Oh, uh, last thing. Also, I you know what? I'm not going to run all the way there. But if you if you look on the map right at the very top right corner where that blue dot is next to it, that's the well up there. Um, we saw that last time. I can you can give items to it and it will give different items back, I suppose. I just threw a bunch of garbage in there. I don't know entirely how it works. So I threw like my old weapons like some slim swords a couple of surge tomes the random shit that you get from like the purple tiles right i threw like five of those in there so i'm curious to see what it will give me back um but anyway we have one more dlc to do i know you're saying oh my god full on we've been in dlc for so long please i'm begging you take me back to the main story uh my answer to you is no Perish. We have one more to do, and then we'll go back to the main story. <laughs> I'm too committed at this point. I'm just way too committed. So let's see what we have for the final DLC. The Lonely Air. I don't... I don't know who Incredible. this could be. Another island among the clouds. Oh my god, that JPEG back there looks really bad. <laughs> Sense oh place lord. But quite close now, I'm certain. Ah, there it is. The bracelet of the lonely air. I hope the emblem inside is friendly. Well, time to find out. What if they're not? What if they just attack us on sight? Heed our summons. Emblem of heroes. <laughs> Who are you? Hello? A wild outfit, though. Music kind of popping off. I kind of dig that. I am Veronica, Imperial Princess of Embla. Name yourself. Hi, Veronica. Hello, Embla Veronica. I'm the Divine Dragon. 
Oh it's my god, you're from you're from Heroes. Oh. Okay, I've never what played Fire Emblem Heroes. That's why you're the emblem of I Heroes. I to speak with such a distinguished emblem. Okay. There's nothing strange about that. And it just so happens we need all the allies we can get. Would you consider joining us? Joining you as your ally? You have it the wrong way around. It is you who would be joining the Emblean army. But very well, I accept. You may join the heroes I have summoned from other worlds. Um... You can do that? Yes. Where I come from, that power belongs to one called the Summoner. When I became an emblem, I developed the same ability. That seems pretty now good. Wait a minute. I am gathering heroes from other worlds that I might bring the kingdom of Asker to ruin. I've never heard of any kingdom of Asker. Never mind that. <laughs> Don't worry about make that. A fine pawn in my schemes. Oh, okay. Well. Now, hold on a second. There is no time for delay. I must make you my hero before the summoner can do the same. Prepare yourself for combat. The victor commands the vanquished. Wait, I don't want to fight. <laughs> You've had to fight every other time, Alir. Let's begin. Every other time we've done anything here, we've had to fight. What do you mean? Like, this should have been inevitable. I'm surprised you don't show up just swords drawn and you immediately start combat. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, nice to meet you, Veronica. Anyway, swing sword. I've won the battle. You're mine now. Like, I know how this gimmick goes. So what are we, what are we cooking with here? What do we got? Oh, okay. We're split. Only eight? I only get eight dudes? That's insanity. Okay. Kind of a big map. A couple of just normal fighters. Longbow dude there. You're a thief that doesn't move. That's very strange. Okay. Are you on an avoid tile? No, you're just... You're just there, I guess. All right. Um, sure. Steel bow. Oh, you have another weapon. What is your other... Oh, just a hand axe. Okay. Hey, I imagine most units that have two weapons are just going to have, like, a ranged weapon as their other one. Do any of the thieves move? You move. Oh, weird. And then this, like, dead ends. What is this tile? An activation tile. Oh, and you're up here, right? And we can't reach you yet. So we're going to have to hit in both activation tiles. Maybe three? Three activation tiles? Nope. It looks like just two. Um, okay. That's fine. Anything of note over here? Hellfire mage. Okay, so there are mag more magic users over here. Mages and some higher defense guys. So, I mean, having my mages over here seems like a no-brainer. Um, and then what about you all? So, what the fuck are you? I'm sorry, mage cannoneer? Hello? What the? You just have a fucking cannon? Cannonball infused with magic. Reduced hit for distant targets. You're an armored knight with just a fucking cannon. You have 2,000 gold. That's sick. That's terrifying. I hate that. The range is insane. Is it just a siege tome? Three to eight. It's even farther than a siege tome. What the fuck? What is this weapon type? Cannonball level. Oh, of course. <laughs> Naturally. Okay. Um. Gotcha. All right. I'm with it. Oh, you have two health bars. What on earth are your weapons? I'm sorry. The what? I'm, I'm not even going to try. There is no world where I pronounce this correctly. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. If user initiates combat, foe cannot counterattack. Don't enemy phaser. Got it. Fortify plus. Heals HP and status effects. For every that is incredible. Powerful magic nullifies basic stat bonuses on target. What, is a, what does that mean? Basic stat bonuses. It's like the bonuses from like my emblem ring. Does that count as a basic stat bonus? That's pretty good. Also, just like the actual stats on this weapon are really good as well. Anyway, what are your skills? This is what we're here for, right? Reprisal. If unit's HP is not full, adds 30% of lost HP to attack. Oh my god, that is terrifying. That is horrifying. What the fuck? Okay, um, so she's going to absolutely fucking slap the lower health she gets. Though she doesn't have a lot of max HP, so she's not going to get a lot of value out of this. But anyway, because I mean, like, think about it, right? Even if she's at one health point, she's lost 34. So that's like 
That's like what? 11-ish damage, give or take? That's a lot. That is a lot. But you're at one health, right? So anyway. And I assume this wouldn't trigger until... This wouldn't trigger in the combat. Right? So like I imagine this is calculated. Her attack is calculated when I trigger. If I attacked her, right? And then put her at one health. She's not going to get the reprisal bonus on her counterattack in that same combat. I imagine. I don't know that for sure. Um, if that is the case, then reprisal is insane. Anyway, level boost. Unit defeats a foe of a higher level. Grant plus one. Level plus one until end of battle. Max plus three. This is not going to be good on her, but this will be really good on a unit I give it to. Like, just having three extra levels for free is really nice. Um, Book of Worlds advances one stage to max five for each consecutive round that unit waits. Okay. Revert to base stage if unit triggers the effect. Okay, but what is the effect? <laughs> That's... What does this do? That's so scary. It's just gonna power up and do something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, contract. Use to grant another action to an adjacent ally who has already acted. Oh my god, she can dance? Ally can't move. Okay. It's a worse dance, but it's still a dance. That's crazy. Unit can't be moved by skills, smash weapons, etc. And then your ult uses summon a random unit. Oh my god, she literally can gotcha pull. All right, I love this. I love this character. Uh, Veronica is the best emblem ring that uh, we we've seen to to date. Um, it's no contest really. I, I'm amazed that it's taken this long for people to catch on with just how incredible Veronica is. Um, <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, the reduced deployment isn't that big of an issue. I think I would rather have Anna being over here is fine. Alchrist can probably swap with Celine. Um, and we can look something like this, I suppose. I don't have a staff user over here to heal. But they should be fine. It's Diamant and Yunaka. My two I mean Diamant, I don't know if Diamant's necessarily one of my stronger units. I don't know if he's stronger than Alir. I'm pretty sure Yunaka's my strongest unit by far though. So, this should be all right. In fact, I think... No, 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 no. Actually, I, I prefer this. Um, Something like that. And then Tiki can also give someone an extra health bar if needed. All right. I've, I've, I've dilly-dallied too long. Let's just, let's just get in there. Throw me in there. Mage cannoneers can fire artillery shells from a long distance away. Be mindful of their range. Danger radius for mage cannoneers has different appearance than usual. Okay, cool. Thank you. Divine One, I fear it may be impossible for us to reach Emblem Veronica on this terrain. Wow, we gotta go stand on the switches. Who could have foreseen this? Use these tiles to reach my position. Oh, you're just gonna tell me? Okay, thank you. We should split into teams and head for the activation tiles. And yep, go, go kill Veronica. Who would have thought? Once I defeat you... I will make you mine. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, you, you're you doing... Oh! How's right that? off the bat. What what are you gonna get? Don't SSR me right off the bat. I'd be so sad. Oh, you're this is you summoning more goons. Okay. Well, what the fuck all did you summon here? Well, now I gotta know, right? Like, what the hell are these guys? Um... Alright, just some normal dudes. You're a martial monk. You have Fracture in Physic? That's fine. These guys are not scary at all, actually. So is that what the, is that what the engage skill looks like? I can just summon, like, fucking a bunch of goons? That's awesome. That's incredible. I want to do that. Wait a minute. <laughs> all right. Anyway, um... I can fight. Let's get to chopping, boys. Okay, music's a little strange right now. I'm not going to lie, but I'm here for it. You will never hit me. Goodbye. Unfortunately, I don't kill you with just the break defenses, but it doesn't matter. This time, victory was mine. And then we canter on up because I have no fear in this world. I I literally have no fear. I don't think anything here can hurt Your us. Orders, please. Especially Louis. Like Louis has what? 28 defense. Can any of you even hurt him? This guy can with his steel great axe. That's really it. The Steelax guy technically can as well, but odds of that happening are slim. Slim to none. Alright, go ahead and slaughter this poor guy as well. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I don't think I'm going to cancer Louis. Opening. Um, I want to try and make like a little formation here that we can hold. So you're going to stay right there for now. Um, and then wish. the uh, the slow boys are going to slowly Sounds start making perfect. their way up. The poor, the poor, poor four movement units. Am I right? Um, I will do what I must. Unfortunately, you cannot get in range to attack, which is a little I'm tragic. Ready. Um, so we're just going to throw DM Diamant can't get in range to attack either. So we're going to enemy phase, I suppose. Uh, what you got? I think I draw with Yunaka. What is this guy here? Your Lance fighter. 26, 35 is kind of a lot. They don't have super good hit rates, though. Like they'll have roughly 40 to 60% hit rates on Yunaka. That should be fine. Even then, she has 19 defense, actually. Holy hell, Yunaka has way more defense than I thought. And her resistance is great. So yeah, I'd like to draw the mage as well. Yunaka will very likely kill all of those guys, so. And then we can set up. Oh, I should I could have assigned Any decoy customers. as well. That would have been a that would have been a good idea. Alright. We're all you know, don't don't go in the woods. I don't know if that's gonna take movement from you next turn, so just hang out here, Diamant. Oh, that guy's coming in. I didn't expect the fucking martial master to come flying up like that. You're dead. You die. Why would you do this? Why would you throw your life away like this? Even if you hit me, it's for three. Who cares? Yeah, oh no. Anyway. Now, this is where things could get spooky. Oh, but she kills. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Another kill for me. Love to see it. Yeah, I mean, Yunok is totally fine here. God, what a unit. Nailed it. What an incredible unit. Yeah, have I funneled a lot of resources into her? Yeah, but she's also paid dividends. Oh no, you might hit me for eight. Anyway, uh, I'm going to hit you back for 108. How about that? Fair trade? Seem reasonable? You want to you wanna try that one again? No? I can't imagine why. <laughs> Alright, well, they're all just going to go for Louis. Because Louis doesn't kill a lot of these guys. He's too slow to double. But that's fine. We can then have Alchris come up and pick this guy off. So I'm not terribly concerned. Oh, actually... Yeah, with Geosphere, this isn't that big of a deal. Um, Alright, boys. Start moving on up. Probably going to do Give the exact order. same thing again. Um... We're just going to draw out that mage, though. We're not going to draw out the other ones yet. I'd rather have Saline nearby, I suppose. I don't know. This is a little bit cursed, where pretty much all the kills are going to go to Yunaka. I'm not, like, super upset about that or anything. I really like Yunaka as a unit, so, you know, it, it could be worse, but... Uh, don't attack with the longbow. Attack with your steel bow. Damn, Alchris kind of kind of slaps now. Goodbye. I'll apologize later. Good work, Alchris. Oh, and now he's got a mini bow. Huge. I don't know if that's necessarily huge or not, but. All right. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have Alir move up. Kill this longbow unit, right? And then we're essentially going to have her canter back to her original position. We're going to hold this spot here while that, uh, so we can protect Alchrist, right? Um, Louis should be able to run up here. Ah, he doesn't get the kill. He has to go here to get the kill. I bet he gets the kill with the, with the great axe and then he could cancer back here. Is this guy going to be in range? Oh, these guys don't move. Yeah, whatever. So then we'll just do it this way then. Yeah. So don't, don't engage. You do not need to engage. Attack with the iron great axe. Again, this, yeah, this guy doesn't hurt you. So it's whatever. Bye. Was that sufficient? It was indeed. Now get a good level up, please. I beg you. God, he's already level 10. Holy shit. Louis promoted level 10. That is insanity. Now, cancer on back here. So yes, Alchris has now been protected. Beautiful work. Jean can move up as well. And, uh, oh, I didn't want to trade. Just wanted to wait. So I'm curious who this guy's going to go for. Probably Louis, but we'll see. Okay, you kind of hit a little bit harder. Yunaka not looking so hot anymore. But now Diamond can take over, right? So, not that big of a deal. Ah. 
Interesting. If you attack with a smash weapon, you always go last, even if the enemy unit has a smash weapon. That's kind of funny. All right. As for you all, um, I think the way I want to do this is I could have... Do you die if I attack here, Yunaka? No, you one-shot him. You don't even take a hit. So yeah, go ahead and slaughter this guy. And I'm probably going to have her take a step back. <laughs> Goodbye. Nailed it. it. was nice knowing you. She's going to get her skill here soon, which will be really nice. Oh my god, more strength. Dear god, Yunaka. You are killing it right now, girl. Okay, take a step back. Um, Saline can get some chip damage in here. So might as well... It's not a lot, but it's also not nothing. It's not nothing. Oh, do any of those guys... You have a Steel Lance. Do they have ranged weapons? That might make this weird. I didn't think about that. Oh, you have Cancer. We do this then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even need to worry about it. And now we can plug the hole with Diamant. He's going to hang out right here. Uh, he's going to attack with his Silver Sword if he can get the kill with it. Which he can. He'll take three. Who cares? Three damage is inconsequential. Um, it's better to avoid the break on the uh, Armored Knight's turn, I think. It's and A battle fit for Brodia. And then I'll probably have Diamant Cancer up as well. Oh, heavy attack. Now we're talking. Um, this does draw that Lance guy as well, which is totally fine. Diamant will be absolutely fine. I would be amazed if he's not. As for this side, um, I think Alcris is going to get the kill here. Like so. Attack with the steel bow. Goodbye, fiend. I can't believe I did that. Good work, Alchris. And now Alir can move up to kill one of these guys. Uh, she can't kill the thief, so you're going to attack the uh, not thief, then you're going to attack the warrior. Believe it or not, I'm going to take the kill over the not kill. Who would have foreseen it? You are insanely dead. Dream well. And now we can move on up. I don't mind just pushing super far up, because again, we'll be totally fine. Louis can one-shot this guy, which is very great. Um, he does have to use the Iron Great Axe, which is fine. You don't take any damage, so who cares? Oh no! Anyway. Perish, fiend. God, Louie, what a monster. What an absolute monster of a unit. Uh, yeah, send that, that vulnerary. And then, I don't know, you can go there, I guess. Poor, poor Jean, keep on moving up, I guess? I don't know, I don't know what to do with you. I guess you stay here? Sure, why not? Ah, not a big deal. You didn't even hit. You didn't even hit me, who cares? How does Diamant fare here? Totally fine. He only takes two damage from the Steel Sword guy. Oh, nice soul proc. I've taken no damage, actually. In fact, I've taken zero damage. You don't even hurt me with your javelin, you buffoon. You absolute fool. All right. Um, right. I'm kind of just rolling this map right now. I'm not going to lie. So I'm just going to keep rolling it. I'm just going to keep sending the juggernauts forward to slaughter these guys. I feel like I'm a little bit stronger than I should be. Um, I feel very powerful. I'm not I'm not going to lie here. This is uh, this has been this has been a good feeling. It's been a nice change of pace, though. Let me tell you, after all the struggling I did before. Oh, man, it, feel, it feels nice to just kind of be in control and do whatever I want, I suppose. I don't even really have to check, like, oh, how much are they going to take? I don't have to do all that math. I can just be like, ah, we'll kill here and then back up. It'll oh, be fine. Help. Oh, good chain attack. Good chain attack. <laughs> Amen, sister. All right, now you can back on up. Um, so you don't even really need to. You can actually stay right where you are. And then we're going to have Diamant move up and annihilate this man. You don't kill with this? All right, well, you'll double with the Silver Sword, so this will kill. And you don't take any damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice, nice counter. Anyway. You put up a good fight. 
Now, I think we're going to have you hang out here. Oh, nice. Didn't even realize there was a tile there that you could use. Uh, Yunaka is going to move on up, and she's also going to... I'm going to put her in harm's way here um, because I'm going to drink the antitoxin. So now, because of Gentle Flower, she's uh, pretty much back up to full health. And there we go. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with Alchris and Jean yet. I don't think Alchris is ever going to catch up to help out over here, so I might just have him and Jean hang out back here. But part of me is also concerned that reinforcements are going to show up. But that'll make it interesting, right? That'll that'll make it fun. So why not? I should have equipped the hand axe. I should have attacked with the hand axe, but that might have not not that might not have gotten the kill. So, oh well. All right. Uh, Diamant is probably going to go kill this guy. I think that's the play here. Yeah, you'll hit me for four. But otherwise, I don't kill you, so... Getting the kill is much more important. <laughs> and goodbye. A proud victory. Good work, Diamant. Love to see it. Um, now, Kanto away from that mage, so he cannot slaughter you. Magic user is terrifying. Just... Uh... Do I really want Yunaka on the front lines here? I think I do. I truthfully think I do. I am just going to put her in. About as far as she can go. She'll be fine. She's got a good amount of health. Oh my god, Yunaka. Actually, why? She's such a fucking killer. Dear lord. Yeah, I think I want to draw as many of these guys as I can. So go ahead and grab your free experience here. Um, we'll have Saline start moving up to help out. Same with... Anna. So I'm not sure how much help either of them are realistically going to be. Oh, oh, you get a level up from this. Let's go, Anna. That's fine. All right. As for over here, um, I'm just gonna keep chugging away. I imagine these axe uh, fighters are supposed to be threatening, but uh, they're not because Alir can just absolutely decimate them. They have zero hit chance. They get broken, so they can't fight back. Um, they just kind of get their asses beat, and that's that's the end of that. Yeah, just, just charge on up. There's no reason not to, really. Oh, what if we what if we get like a momentum fucking uh, javelin throw here? All right, now we're talking. Go ahead and soften this bad boy up. Pew. Oh, you know what? Actually, I've just, I've realized something. What I can do is I can, <laughs> how much damage do you do? 22? Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Jean's coming to punch that mage out. He's coming. Fret not. He is on his way <laughs> to come annihilate that mage. <laughs> I don't know why Jean has so much, re oh, it's because he's, he has Micaiah. That's right. Micaiah gives a ton of resistance as well. I forgot about that. <laughs> God, the evasion is so nice. All right, what does this look like? Ah, oh, 20 is kind of spooky. Oh, you die though. Never mind. Not even, not even a little scary. Was that too much? You don't even get to attack me, you buffoon. You go for a leer. Interesting. I suppose you probably can't hurt Louis. That's why you didn't attack him. That would make a lot of sense. Oh, I really want more strength on you, Alir. God. Yunaka has outpaced you. Like, by a lot as well. Like, look at this! <laughs> she, hit, she did 64 damage to that guy. Like, come on, Alir. We gotta we gotta keep up here, alright? We've been we've been highly outclassed. Alright. I think I'm gonna have you kill the axe fighter. Actually, no. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Louie kill this archer with the silver lance. I guess I don't know. I don't know if it really matters. Oh, he gets allied defense. That's nice. Anyway, <laughs> and so your tale ends. Beautiful work. Um, and then I'm gonna have you kill this cab unit first. I think. I'm not really concerned about that axe fighter doing anything to Louie, so. 
And then I'll probably have her cancer up. Maybe draw the, the thief out as well. If the Axe Fighter decides to go for a Leer, I'm pretty sure stop. he'll have effectively zero hit chance against her. So, yeah, let's go ahead and draw the thief as well. She has, what, 83 avoid? Yeah, he literally cannot hurt her. So I'm not concerned about that. Um, okay, so we're pretty much already done with the left flank. Uh, as for over here... All right, John, now's your time to shine, brother. Go get him. Go get him, Chief. Bah. Time to throw hands, motherfucker. And uh, now Alcris is going to steal the kill and pretend like it was all him. <laughs> Though, honestly, he was almost I'll close to one shotting. Alcris was pretty close to just getting the kill there, which that would have been sick. Part of me just wants to have Yunaka go up and destroy everything here. Like, I really want to do that. You don't understand. I think I will. She's going to be fine. She's going to be so fine. Look at how fine she is. Time to finish the job. Oh my god, she's so fine. Never been more fine in her life, really. Um, so where do I want you to canter towards? Damn, she's already almost max bond rank there. I think I just want you to... Hmm, I don't know if I want her to pull both. 16 defense and res. So you hit me for 10, and you hit me for 9. That's 19, assuming both of you hit me. I have 107... No, that's me. I was like, how do you have 171 hit? No, that's me that has that. 112 and 101, so we're looking at about 40% chance. So one of them's probably gonna hit me. Even if both hit me, she'll be fine, and she'll be able to clear out both an enemy phase. Yeah, we'll do it this way. I don't know if anyone else even needs to come up here. Yeah, actually, Anna does. Anna's gonna be the one to step on the fucking, the damn, what's it called? The fucking tile here. Um, So that way she doesn't, hopefully this lets me, um... oh, I forgot about this guy. Yeah, I should have marked him like that. Okay, we're fine for now. Hopefully this lets me uh, approach from these aisles over here, and I don't have to just approach from the middle here. But we'll see how that actually turns out. Um, I think in preparation for that, I'm going to have Diamant start moving up the middle, just in case. And Saline can move in as well, I suppose. I don't know. My thought being that Saline can contribute with bolting if it's looking spooky. All right, well, you're you're highly dead. You it was nice knowing you. You, lasted. you were beautiful while you lasted. Oh, you have a fucking Thunder Tome. That's annoying. I should have looked at that. That's my bad. You will not do any damage to me. Oh, no. The poison is probably more annoying than the three damage you did there, realistically. You are highly dead. But oh, you also only hit me for four. Oh, because you had the Steel Lance equipped. So you're attacking with the Javelin now. Was that I see, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Enjoy oh, I don't like that. Hey, stop that. Uh, don't do that. Same turn reinforcements? Come on, I'm ready for it. What did you... Oh my god. Okay, just summon like 80 dudes up here, I guess. To the Flame Lance! What the hell? Steel Blade. Probably a Physics Staff if I had to guess. Yep. What the fuck? Okay, well you and your Flame Lance can't do any damage. She, you hit Yunaka for two. So I'm not concerned about that. You also have a Thunder Tome? You do, that's so freaking annoying. Uh, ugh. I don't really want Anna to be on the front lines like that. But I really need to kill these Tome uh, users. Like, it's actually imperative. So here's how we do this, right? You're going to engage. While you're engaged, this item is not for sale. she should be fine. She gets a bunch of stats. So just, like, get absolutely clawed to death. Oh, my God. You don't one-shot with the claw. That is so tragic. And then you're going to take 10 no matter what. So, yeah, might as well use the claw. Maybe we get a crit. 35%. One strike, half off. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm not alone 
anymore. It's like I'm a prophet. How did he know? How could he have figured it out? It's crazy. Uh, you can send that antitoxin. We don't need that. Now, Yunaka... Yunaka here. ...can kill this man. Uh, like so. I'm just thinking how much I want to gamble here. So beautiful. Uh, she has 16 health. All right. And 16, to everything 16 that I need, that I care about right now. That's beautiful. Uh, makes it nice and easy for me. So you hit for 35. Oh, but I'm pretty sure I'll kill you. 22 defense. So I'll hit him for 21 twice. So he dies. I don't have to worry about him. If he attacks you, Naka, he dies. You will hit for five. That will put her at 11. You'll hit for two. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it, dude. We ball. Hashtag fuck it, we ball. Everyone else just keep moving Let's on go. up, I guess. Relegated to fucking nothing duty at the current moment. Have the boys stick together. Good old duo brothers. Um, So I imagine she's probably going to do the same shit over here and summon a bunch of reinforcements. Now, uh, I don't know if I care is the other side of this coin. I don't know that I really care about that. Louis and Alir are insanely fine. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. You are now highly was dead. That sufficient? And then we can canter on up. And then who would have thought uh, we're going to do the exact same thing here. You are also insanely dead. You might hit me for five, though. Oh, no. Here it comes. Oh, wow. Who would have thought you missed your 18% chance? You. Who could have foreseen this? Um, I can't her there, I guess. That's fine. So you're going to summon a bunch of reinforcements again? This should be fine. You're dead, so whatever. He hit this. Yeah, not a big deal. Was that too much? Yunaka is getting a little low, though. We'll probably give her a divine blessing here. Which just effectively gives her a full health bar. You're dead. Yep, goodbye. This is why I was not worried about that uh, that armored knight. Because he had the blade weapon, right? The the smash weapon. You go for Tiki! Interesting. You're like, I'm not going to suicide into Yunaka. Are you insane? I just watched my friends do that. <laughs> that bitch is crazy. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. Tiki. We'll be together forever. Tiki is so good. Dear Lord. Okay, yep, here we go. You're just gonna spam this shit, huh? Oh no! Surprise reinforcements! What will I do? Whatever shall I do? Anyway. Um, time to start chopping away at him. Yeah, just like take him out one at a time. We'll start here. And then Alir can player phase the spawn. Scene. Oh my god, Louis. What a monster. My apologies. What an absolute monster. You're gonna hang out right there, because the ma the mage cannon guy is gonna hit you pretty hard. So that's that's kinda scary. Alir decimates this guy. It was nice knowing you. I am guided by the emblems. And now we're probably going to have her cancer here. No, stay here, actually. If they both attack Alir, that's totally fine. As for everything going on here, um, you can't really do a lot here, Saline. So might as well just get some chip damage in, I guess. I don't know. Sure, why not? Kablam. Good work, Saline. You're going to get hit by that guy, but whatever. Um, or are you? What if you weren't going to get hit by that guy? What if instead we killed him? Does he, is he even really a threat? No. Eh, kinda. The Flame Lance person is even less of a threat, realistically. So I think actually it is worth it to kill this guy first. <laughs> as weird as that, that seems. Dear God, Yunaka. Her strength level ups have been insane. 
is her i don't even know what her growth is but her i don't feel like she got near as much strength when i used her last time like this is wild this has actually hit insanity levels all right go ahead and give that to her before she dies I'll be good. beautiful work oh well there we go uh as for the rest of you start hanging out i guess i don't know start chilling out I, can, I don't have anything better for you all to do i am curious though hold on so i wonder if i can bolting that cannon guy he's an armored knight does he have good resistance i might be able to bolting him down with saline which that would be hilarious if i can do that that would be so funny all right well that's a little annoying now that she's broken i don't get to she doesn't get to a counter attack i forgot about the break mechanic who would have thought anyway <laughs> Okay, well, congratulations. You've done nothing. Granted, I don't do much to you either, but... So what does what his defense look like? Or his resistance? He has 11 resistance. That's pretty reasonable. Um, and you hit for 20. So, like, in theory... I kind of I do want to try this out, right? So go ahead and attack. I, it don't attack. There's there's no reason to do that. Have you knock a slaughter this guy? Goodbye. Winning. And then we're gonna have everyone else move on up. I'm not gonna put you in range yet, but I'm gonna put you close. So then, in theory, on your next turn, you will be able to um, bolting that guy. Our foes are strong. You can't kill the lance dude, so kill the axe guy. I bet Louie can kill the lance guy. He'll have a bunch of damage from momentum as well, which will help. Um, I don't know. Canter here, I guess, so that Louie can reach. Oh, but you have the fucking chain guard. That's so annoying. That's like really annoying for you, my guy. So I suppose we're just going to fucking javelin this no it doesn't kill damn all right how much are you gonna get hit for nine not a big deal take the hit kill this guy so we don't have to deal with any more fucking chain guard shenanigans Bop. that was eye-opening uh send the vulnerary and then move on back. It does mean you're gonna get attacked by this guy, which also means he's gonna move over here, which is highly annoying because that's gonna pull him out of range of Saline. But eh, it's it's better this way, I think. Uh, as for the rest of you, good work, <laughs> good job. You've done you've done your job admirably. Oh no! What? Why? Why would you not attack Lear? Are you insane? Oh my god, the chain guard? That's so funny. Nice shot. Nice cannon, guy. So now... Let's, uh, let's try this shit out. Go ahead and engage. Please grant me your strength. Let's see who wins the, uh, artillery battle here. Technically, I do. I don't get to kill him, though. Which is a little unfortunate. I can, I, cause I'm only gonna get three to, oh, but he might attack back and then I can retaliate. Yeah, now we're talking, hold on. So get blasted. And then I'm gonna get blasted. And then you're gonna wait right there. You're gonna hang out exactly where you are. Um, Alir is going to kill this man cause I'm real sick of looking at him. Goodbye, friend. You will very, very likely miss this. Yep. Thank you very much. And uh, we're going to make sure everyone else is out of range of that guy so he doesn't attack anyone capable. except for uh, Saline. Like so. And now we're just going to wait some turns. <laughs> and even if I run out of Soren Engage, I can just grab the puddle behind her and do it again. Okay, yeah, you are stupid. So you're going to do this the stupid way. I see. Where I get to kill you. Thank you very much. Yo, 
bolting is insane. Oh my god, Saline, that is such a bad level up. Holy shit, that is terrible, girl. Truly terrible. Go ahead and hit him again. I wonder if I could just bolting all of these guys down by having Saline keep grabbing the puddles. That'd be really funny. Is it worth it? Probably not, but it would be hilarious um, to just have her bolting down this guy. What are, what's your resistance? You have even, they have even less resistance. Oh my God, it can absolutely be done. We can't bolting down Veronica. She has crazy resistance, but the, uh, the other goons we can. Granted, the other guys are also not a threat, so who cares? All right, well, nice artillery job, guy. Get out artillery. It's a terrible state of affairs. Is it? It was incredible for us. Thank you for the free money. And now we are going to uh, proceed. Hmm, nothing happens when it's just the one. What if we were to activate both at once? Who would have thought? Who could have foreseen this, Vander? What a, what a... We should try stepping on the activation tile over there as well, Divine Vander, one. your tactical acumen is way above mine. I can't, I can't even hope to compete. I've done it. Now, please don't just be the middle. What? The islands are shaking. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, and it's like a nice little fit there. Perfect. Well, it seems we have ourselves a path. Now we can bring the fight to Emblem Veronica. All right. Now this does put you in attack range, but like, hear me out. I can just take a step back and then bolting your dumb ass. <laughs> oh, what a fun tome. Let me tell you. Oh, I do one damage here. I don't know why I shouldn't do any damage here, but I do. Uh, the hit rate on it is not great. Might as well try though. It's free. Bop. Yeah. Again, it was worth the shot. Um, now I want you to canter on down here. Uh, Yunaka is gonna get ready to meet our guests at the door. And then I'm probably gonna have Jean engage. Look at this, look at this perfect placement Happy here. Emblem. So Jean can now use his staff to heal, hitting both Louis and Yunaka. <laughs> Big help. Beautiful work, John. Love to see it. All right, everyone else can start moving on up as well. I'm a little worried she's gonna summon a bunch of reinforcements on top of us, but at the same time, I think we'll be fine. None of these units have been like particularly strong, so I'm not very concerned. Um, I'm ordering this way so that way John can get another AOE heal off. Oh, you're coming. Enjoy dying. Yep, here we go. How's that? Who would have thought? And she's summoning again. So what, how many how many goons is it this time? Where are they gonna be? Oh no, they're all the way back there. Anyway. Anywho. Um, so I wonder if I can just kill you. What you got? Yunaka takes a health bar. Alir takes a health bar. This isn't so bad. Louis doesn't. What if he attacks with the Great Axe? Doesn't. Oh, but Diamant? Diamant doesn't. Um, But between both of them, he does, right? So we do it like this. We bop here. You're gonna take a lot of damage back, but that's totally fine. Not even a little concerned. <laughs> bop. Oh, Reprisal does trigger like that. Okay, Reprisal is pretty good. That's crazy. All right, big fan of Reprisal. Um, Louis can now take off one of your health bars. So he will do so. Bop. Oh, Louis level up, be good. That's a good level, Louis. That's a really good level. Everything I want to see from you, homeboy. Um, now Alir can take a health bar. And the reason I'm doing it this way, uh, it actually doesn't matter. So I was doing it for cancer because I knew um, 
Like, if I have Yunaka attack from here, she could cancer back. And the, these two, it, it it's not a big deal, actually. I've, I've realized this does not matter at all. Um, do I want to attack with Liberation? Kind of. If she gets hit, that's just more health for Jean to heal. You've come far. Well done. If we defeat you here, do you promise you'll join us? You have little to gain from that. I, on the other hand, mm -hmm. stand to acquire a new hero for my forces. What do you mean I have little to gain? <laughs> Can you summon shit for me? That would be awesome. <laughs> oh my god, you hit the 4%? Am I? What is this world? Hello? I cannot believe you actually hit that 4% on me like that. Like a fucking animal. What the hell? That is insanity. All right, go ahead and great sacrifice. Get a bunch of experience, Jean. If this means survival. And then Yunaka can <gasps> annihilate Veronica. Yeah, we didn't get the experience for the reinforcements or those two guys, but I'm already so over leveled, I feel. Like, look at how easy this map was. I didn't encounter a single moment of trouble in the entire thing. Yeah, that that's yeah, it's fine. Magic, pretty good. All right, Yunaka, send this man. Send this uh, woman, excuse me. Send this person. There we go. Um, you know what? Honestly, we can even one-shot you. Because now we'll get weapon sync, so we'll do even more damage. I'm going to hit you even harder now. Yep, goodbye. Get hit for 82, by the way. Bop. That looks so strong. Yeah, I'm pretty tough. It's true. How'd you, how'd you do? Glad, glad of you to notice. Oh, they're almost at max rank. Let's go. Wow, Yunaka MVP again. Who could have foreseen this? Anyway, <laughs> I gotta start working on other units because, man, at some point, we're gonna need more people than just Yunaka to take care of problems. Though, I don't know. Maybe we turn this into the Yunaka show. That'd be pretty funny. Why do I always lose? This is not fair. Uh, cause you're a you loser. You said the victor <laughs> commands the vanquished. Does that mean you'll join us now? We're fighting for peace in this world. Your cause doesn't concern me. As the princess of an empire, you must have fought for the sake of your people. We're doing the same thing here. I'm sure you can understand that. A ruler's duty is to the people. Indeed, I have said as much before. But I did all that I could for Embla, and still my goals were forever out of reach. You have many allies, and the power to summon emblems. Is that not enough? <laughs> you already have all you could She's like, you already have so much DLC power here, do you really you need more? You always use more help. I, for one, would feel a lot better with you on our side. I have nothing to offer you. That's not true. You're a strong and capable leader. You'd be a powerful friend to have. You really do say strange things. <laughs> Friendship doesn't interest me, but perhaps it is better than being alone. Fine. You may use my power for a time. Thank you, Emblem Veronica. Let's head back. Your new allies are all going to be happy to meet you. I don't know anything about oh, this character, so it's we'll see about that. It's hard for me it to be like what she's talking since about. I've been among a crowd. I'm not accustomed to such things. Still, the thought is not an unpleasant one. I will speak with these allies of yours. Let's go! Emblem Veronica has joined the team. All right. That's all the DLC. We've done it. We're free. We're done. We're, we're moving on after this. Do not fear. We've actually completed all the DLC maps. I didn't expect the last two to drop right as I was about to move on. Truth be told. That, that, that shit was kind of wild. Oh, I didn't even look to see if there were any adoptable animals on the last map. I completely forgot. Hold on, I gotta steal these cats. I don't know how to take care of cats! Oh, fuck. Well, never mind. I lied. I'm sorry. I apologize. My bad. I don't know how to care for cats, so. Well done. I suppose we're allies now. So be it. Thanks. <laughs> Don't really have a lot to say. Is this like the, the main character or something of of heroes? I don't know. Or maybe the main villain. Because she kept referring to the summoner. I imagine the summoner is like the main character, right? I, I've literally never played Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, which which may come as a surprise. Because you're like, full on, you're a gotcha fiend. What's going on? Yeah, I am. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure why I never, I never gravitated towards it. 
please give me my iron ingots. Thank you very much. And now we are going to head on home. Oh, we are we are free of divine paralogs. You will never have to see this area ever again. We're going to the Somniel. Never got to come back. Don't worry. <laughs> We're free until until, you know, the next round of, of emblems come out. <laughs> I don't even know if there will be any more. I think this is literally all of them. Um, I'm not sure what the there's like a story DLC coming in the next wave as well. I'm not sure what all that adds. And then I don't know what the fifth one is. Uh, I don't know if it's been announced or not. So that should be it for now. Anyway, uh, oh, before before we do that, though, hold on. We should look at what Veronica does. Um, Veronica. So we get your crazy staff. Um, that seems nice. Reprisal. Very good. And then contract is the dance. Summon, summon a powerful unit. Okay, great. What does that what does that mean? All right. Well, we've seen everything she can do realistically. I'm not sure what all the different type bonuses will do. Anyway, this is where we're ending the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you look down in the description, you'll find a link to the official store page. You can pick up the game for yourself if you wish to do so. And yeah, if you've uh, made it this far with me, I really do truly appreciate you being here. And I hope you have a great rest of your day or your night or whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you again next time. Good bye.